Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius. I want to give a big thank you to Milker Nation for putting in the time and effort for this 10-hour documentary about Bertaria. Unfortunately, Owen Benjamin is making his rounds, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, making his rounds on different podcasts. Today, he is going to be on Chrissy Mayer's podcast for the second time. And hopefully she has some actual questions for him instead of just the same old racist banter. (laughs) And in case not, I'm going to uh, throw some commentary on this. Show that behavior anymore. My wife doesn't want people I meet on the Internet over at my house because a lot of people have threatened to kill us. That is a lie. What he's referring to, and I'm sure that it will address, yes, this is going to make this 10-hour documentary a stupid amount, (laughs) stupid long. But uh, what he's referring to is uh, just flat-out lies, and it's it's provable with video. There is video evidence to prove that he is lying. Um, The thing that he's probably referring to, and I say probably because I stopped him right there, is somebody sent him a bag of dicks. From the website, I, I don't remember what it's called, but it's a it's like a gag website. And it's gummies, and they're shaped like male genitalia. And he opens the package, he opens the mail on video, and he even thinks it's kind of funny. Well, then some time passes, and he spins it as though somebody sent him poisoned gummies and tried to kill his children. And in the the video that he actually uh, opens them, he's like, oh, I I can just give these to uh, one of my kids. And then he realizes that they it literally is shaped like penises. And so he's like, I can't give those to my kids. And yeah. So I want to get a piece of land that I have ownership of. Um, So it's not like, oh, meet me at a bar or restaurant or whatever. No. And and that way I can hang out with people in real life and not – uh, across that um, that rule I have with my wife. And if Trainer Bear has a problem with that and wants to call me a cuck to Babylon, they can go to the Daily Wire. Um, I'm sure Brent Shapiro would love to have you. I've never not opted out. I always get the pat down. Good for you. Smart rule. I know, Dimitri. Uh, five grand per bear buy on. No, 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 no. I'm not collecting any money from you guys for any of this. That's not the point of me saying that. I have a ton of, of wealth and resources. Uh, it's like I have priorities. Don't think that that was me being like, hey, guys, I need money. I don't. I don't. I'm good. All right, here we go. Dear Big Bear, here is some United States government issued toilet paper. For your war supply. You will need it if you want to survive the deadly... He has a war chest that he has that he'll talk about. Coronavirus. As I have now saved you and your family from certain death, please sign me up for the bear trail. I would love to be a part of it. Sincerely, Rag and Bear. Thank you, Rag and Bear. I I thought it was uh, was a troll for a second there, but that's really funny. Oh, and want to know what else we've been working on? All right, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I dig the hat, man. It's goofy. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's practical. Uh, I, don't, I don't know the story behind it. I'm sure that there was some kind of gag with it. Some Somebody might have mailed it to him. I don't know. But um, I think I'd, I enjoy that hat. Do you know that with the proper bear trail, we can keep the Internet alive? Let's say hypothetically the internet goes down for so people can hypothetically get more control by squeezing people and say hypothetically uh hold on guys my cat's trying to destroy something uh hypothetically (laughs) he fear mongers and just creates these delusional alternate realities but let's 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 hear him out, shall we? If you have enough nodes from trusted sources, you can keep the internet up. How dare you? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Is that nodes? I've never, and I'm not technically savvy at all, so I don't, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know, buddy. 
the bear trail is it's a long way in the making but i think it could do wonderful things i mean yes yeah yeah 40 acres 40 houses with everybody has their own pump and like well-crafted mini houses he uh after he got out of the military he made him i just want to uh throw this out there pay attention to the dates at the top i i trust that it's accurate and if it is accurate, this is three years ago, okay? And he's been given millions of dollars, in my opinion. Is there any way I can prove that? Absolutely not. That's why it's my opinion. Him and his family, like a 200-square-foot house, and he lived in it with five kids. And now he's, like, making he, – he makes a bunch of book bindery. He's, dude, guy's a fucking legend. Legend. Bro, tiny house is the way to go. Right. Imagine a brilliant idea. There is a tiny house. Right. Imagine you you save up $30,000 and you have an acre to grow on a tiny house in a community. No debt. I mean, dude. That's one of the things that you'll notice him saying a lot. Or if you don't, pay attention to it. He says, "I." he talks about himself. I don't have any debt. I've done all of this without any debt. And it's because he, there's a reason why people call him BB. It's not Big Bear, it's Beg Bear. And he legitimately gets pissed off. There's video evidence of that. Whenever he doesn't get the money, he feels like he is owed. Yeah. I told him, I just wrote, I'm in. It's just an abusive, obnoxious relationship. Uh, that's one of the points of these videos. You probably need a little more land to handle the amount of sewage created. Good point. Good point. Very good point. We'll figure it out. And we farm the land. Right. Exactly. Dude, that, guys, this is clearly the future. The future is this. The Palm Manager Road, right? yeah. That's basically been my plan for the last nine months. Yes. And this dude does it. Like, he builds this shit. This is why I make money, guys. I, I Money, dude, I wear the same, I wear my merch. Like, I'm not, like, I have not way too many animals as it is. It's like, the next step is land management with, like, people so they can live without debt and community. I want to point this out. One of the things that Scientology does and a lot of other businesses, they own land. Scientology is a uh, pretty much a, a real estate company that abuses people. And that's one of the things that Owen is trying to do and is doing. ...where they can prosper. Bear trail, guys, I wasn't going to start looking into bear trail stuff, but the perfect one is for sale. Okay, so this is June 30th. 2020. And uh, the Patreon lawsuit is so absurd, I don't want it to hold me up anymore. <laughs> there is a compound, 50,000 square feet. Uh, hold on, let's, let, I, I want to, this is eight minutes and 48 seconds. All right. April 26th. Okay. Idaho, $1.5 million, 210. So the long con has been about three months. Huh? Okay. 211 acres, five miles, go separate back. buildings, full functional. I don't want it to hold me up anymore. <laughs> there is a compound, 50,000 square feet. Uh, 20, 30 separate buildings, full functional wilderness camp, North Idaho, $1.5 million, 210 or 211 acres, five miles from Vertac Tactical. Notice he said Vertac Tactical. Okay. That is a ammunition and, and gun, uh, person, ma manufacturer or, or whatever. 
I am a First Amendment and Second Amendment absolutist. I want y'all to understand that. So I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but that is a key note in this. So I was thinking, just throwing this out there, let me know what you guys think. Do you think we could raise the money for that? If 5,000 people chipped in 400 bucks and in return they got two weeks there, any two-week vacation they want, would that be possible? Um, think of- So th- that's his pitch. And this is live, right? He's doing a live stream. That's his pitch. 5,000 people, $400 a piece. That's $2 million, is it not? Do I need to replay this? 50,000 square feet for sale. And where they can prosper. Bear Trail, t- t- guys, I wasn't going to start looking into Bear Trail stuff. But the perfect one is for sale. And uh, the Patreon lawsuit is so absurd, I don't want it to hold me up anymore. <laughs> there is a compound, 50,000 square feet. He said there is a compound, 50,000 square feet. I know you can hear this, but it's important. Uh, 20, 30 separate buildings, full functional wilderness camp, North Idaho, $1.5 million, 210 or 211 acres, five miles from Veritac Tactical. So I was thinking, just throwing this out there, let me know what you guys think. Do you think we could raise the money for that? If 5,000 people chipped in 400 bucks and in return, they got two weeks there, any two week vacation they want. Would that- Do you see what he's doing? He's, he's saying, Give this, and this is what you get in return. That means something. That'd be possible. Um, think about everything that it would accomplish. We could do shows there. We could do wilderness. He's not saying, give me money, and that's the end of it. He is literally saying, give me money, and you will get something in return. That's important. Like James True could do wilderness camps there. My buddy in LA would do men's fitness camps there. Um, is that possible? 211 acres, five miles from Veritech Tactical. And I am trying to convince Brandon to run for a sheriff. And another bear I'm trying So I assume Brandon is connected to Veritech Tactical. I assume. Correct me in the uh, comment section. I convinced to run for mayor. Bear in mind that if you would <laughs> sold out Sandpoint in like an hour. So there's tons of bears up there. To run for a sheriff and another bear. I'm trying to convince to run for mayor. Bear in mind, I sold out Sandpoint in like an hour. So there's tons of bears up there. 50,000 square feet, at least 20 or 30 houses on this thing with a basketball court, Shooting ranges, crazy. Um, water system from a fresh stream. So he said shooting ranges. Did he not? That's important. 20 or 30 houses on this thing with a basketball court, shooting ranges, crazy. Um, water system from a fresh stream. And Now it's important to note that... Whenever he went to the city council meeting, however long ago, uh, for the new land that he had to get, uh, he did say that all of the things that he said was about another piece of land. But as far as I know, and I might be jumping the gun on this, he never really changed his uh, pitch for the new land. But I, I don't know. That's why we're watching this. And potential to be completely off grid with electricity and total monthly taxes are $700 a month. I think we can raise the money. I have a realtor in Idaho. I just talked to him. Um, do you guys think we could raise that in two weeks? Do you think 5,000 people could contribute $400 in two weeks? It's, it's a full size village. I can't have people move in because I would potentially move my family there because we would have to work on it and build it and fix it. And But it's functioning. All the structures are functional, right? And, yeah. 
because I got to move quick on it. We could set up an area that can be kind of like like a all natural trailer park for people that not a trailer park of despair, a trailer park of like people can park their, you know, like traveling bears can park their van and like chill there. He's an elitist. Owen truly is an elitist. And he was bitter because um, he didn't get his way in Hollywood. But <laughs> it could be a place where uh, the be- whole trailer park of despair. He wants to have a castle. He'll he'll say that later on. I don't know if it's included in this documentary or not. But he wants to have a castle, and he wants to live in his castle with his lieutenants. It is, he doesn't ever mention his wife and kids, which is strange. He wants to live in a castle with his lieutenants and rule the land. And then all of his little peasants, all of his little slaves, slave boy, you're one of them. You can be in your little trailer park of not despair, but whatever he said. Have retreats for kids. Like the whole thing, the whole thing is, um, the whole thing is about knowledge retention of Western civilization. Retreat to the mountains, incredible offering consists of 211 acres with approximately 45 buildings, including nearly 50,000 square feet, former home of Four Seasons full-time residential school and summer wilderness camp allows for endless opportunities. An area that we could have retreats, campfires, endless possibilities. I'm starting a retreat. I'm starting a place where people can come on retreat, bring their families. And I've been told that this wasn't even his idea. It was James True's idea. Now, I'm not too sure. It's really hard to keep the timeline and everybody's participation and where the ideas really come from in order. That's one of the reasons why I'm thoroughly, I am grateful for the comment section of uh, the Texas Goat Radio Show's channel, my channel. Because for the most part, the majority, it's just it, people are having conversations and, and supporting each other. And it's just a great place for information and support. Like, learn shit, commune with each other, grow things, learn how to homestead. It, but the, the value, guys, the value, 211 acres in North Idaho, five miles from Veritech Tactical, with 25 structures and 50,000 square feet, with a running, it, the value is $50 million. I, I mean, I, I don't even know how to quantify that. At least 20 or 30 houses on this thing this is him pitching an idea on a live stream and he said it's worth 50 million dollars he's asking for uh what was it five thousand people to donate four hundred dollars for actual not it's not just a gift but it's a you're getting some he's promising you something in return with a basketball court shooting ranges crazy we can make a few of the uh cabins guest quarters i mean guys it's fifty thousand square feet you, we could do all oh, right and so we are 12 minutes and 30 seconds in <laughs> this is gonna be a long endeavor if i continue to do this shout out to milker nation for all the hard work that that you put into this 10 hour documentary that most people are uh, just flat out ignoring and allowing him to continue to be the predator and dangerous cult leader that he is. This is the Texas Go Radio Show. I am your host, Matorius. As always, till next time.